Okay, keep it going, keep it going. Your next comedian coming to the stage, good friend of mine, all the way from Germany, hilarious comedian. You can see him in his one-man show, Sexy Science, uh, opening two weeks from tonight at the Soho Playhouse. Please give a warm welcome to Mr. Vince Ebert. Thank you, thank you for this overwhelming applause. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yes, it's true. I'm a, a German comedian and I'm also a physicist. German physicist, double the fun. <laughs> the first time I entered the lab at my university, I saw a sign saying, don't look directly into the laser beam with your remaining eye. German sense of humor. <laughs> I was always interested in science. When I was 10, I took my canary in its cage outside during a lightning storm, <laughs> just to check if Benjamin Franklin was right. <laughs> he was. The bird wasn't struck by lightning. He died of a heart attack anyway. <laughs> Later that day, I peed on an electric fence to prove Ohm's law. I'm sure you all know Georg Ohm, founder of the German resistance. In Germany, that's a very funny joke. Recently, I saw angels and demons with Tom Hanks. Right at the beginning, there's a very sexy female particle physicist who creates an amount of antimatter powerful enough to destroy a big city. Complete nonsense. I worked in physics for 10 years, but I never met a sexy physicist. <laughs> in July, I moved from Germany to New York City for one year to make science great again. <laughs> and also to perform in English, because the language of science is English. It wasn't always like that. 100 years ago, the language of science was German. Did you know that? Back in the day, every well-educated person in the world had to learn German. And if we hadn't had that little screw up, <laughs> I could perform here in front of you in my own language. Because it would be my own country. I was born and raised in a remote village in Bavaria. I'm sure you all know Bavaria. It's like Texas without guns. <laughs> and the, main, na the name of my hometown is Amorbach. Amor, like the Roman god of love. That's why we have 4,000 citizens, but only three last names. It's also a very Catholic area, very religious people there, and I can remember when I was a child, I was forced to go to the Holy Mass every Sunday. Of course, I did. Only once in my childhood, I skipped. Three days later, the Pope died. I felt guilty for years, like a good Catholic is supposed to. I asked my priest, Father, what did God do before he created the world? And he looked me straight in the eye and said, he prepared hell for people who ask questions like that. <laughs> but science is about asking thrilling questions. Why is the sky blue? Why is the night black? Why shouldn't we eat yellow snow? <laughs> and people often ask, as a physicist, what do you think of astrology? And I tell them, I don't believe in astrology. I'm a very skeptical person, a typical Scorpio. Huh? <laughs> and of course, science has its limits. If we ask a person to think of something positive while measuring their body temperature, the temperature will go up slightly, or it will go down slightly, or it will stay the same. But the craziest thing is, with something negative, it's exactly the other way around. <laughs> and we still have no idea why. <laughs> 
After university, I couldn't find a job and people gave me the advice, you have to network, you get a job by talking to people. I studied physics because I don't like talking to people. <laughs> I'm not a very social person. Every time I get a call with an unknown number, I pick up the phone and say something like, it's all done, but there's blood everywhere. <laughs> By the way, I'm married. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. <laughs> and the secret of our marriage is we both have the right chemistry. Prozac. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't have children. Makes life much easier. In our bathroom, the drain cleaner is right next to the mouthwash. <laughs> because we can read. <laughs> If we had children, I would prefer twins, because you could divide them into a test group and a control group. <laughs> That's science. Thank you very much. Keep it going for Vince Ebert. Again, his show, his show is called Sexy Science. You can see he's got the package. Good night.